Okay, here's a curious little device I've put together. Um, I'm working with um, suspending a magnet or a rotor on a shaft like a Mendocino motor. You know, where they use the magnetic bearings. And uh, I've found out that if you just use a Phillips screw and a needle or a wire um, made into a point, it works pretty darn good. And this thing here is piano wire. And I ground the piano wire into a needle point, and it's uh, in a steel Phillips screw on both ends with really good lubrication. And it made a really uh, interesting little um, motor setup, so I thought I'd do a video on it. It's uh, two coils, uh, uh, one fine wire and then a thicker wire with a ferrite core. Uh, just a single transistor with a filled up uh, super cap. Uh, the trigger wire tells the transistor to let the current pass through and then the uh, drive coil fires and turns the motor on and I'll show you how it works here. And anyway, that, that, uh, the idea is to be able to have a motor that uh, is fairly low friction but you can do any position you want to with it and it stays stable. And uh, the problem with the Mendocino types is you have to have them pretty much flat or else you have to use the ring magnet set up. Um, and this was real simple. It's like I say, just a Phillips screw with a sharpened piano wire and real, real good lubrication. And then like I say, it's just two coils. One is the drive and one's the uh, trigger right there. Trigger's back here, drive wire uh, coil's up there, and the drive coil has a ferrite core. And uh, the circuit is just a, uh, just a single transistor. It goes into self-oscillation uh, after you turn it on. Um, uh, it's a 2.7 volt, 10 farad super cap. Um, the uh, fine gauge wire is uh, 38 gauge is about 1.5 K ohms. The drive coil is 30 gauge with about uh, 10 ohms. But yeah, I made an interesting, uh, let me walk in here, I'll show you the circuit diagram of it. I brought Maggie back from the other place for this project. I was up there for a few days, so I grabbed her, and she likes these kinds of uh, spinning magnet things. She gets a kick out of those things. And she's just that coil of wire with the uh, bridge rectifier on the back and it, I've used her in many many videos and so I thought I'd bring her back here for a while to play around with this thing and uh, it's real uh, fun to use her in a project video but here's the circuit diagram for that thing and the main point of the video is to show that this piano wire it's real stiff it's straight it doesn't bend very hard and, and you have to grind a needle point on both ends and run it in a Phillips screw. And turn this off here. And then it's just a, a two, two and two, 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 two NPN. Uh, there's the circuit diagram with the uh, back coil being the fine wire telling the transistor to open and then the drive coil here. Uh, very simple. There's no resistors or any other capacitors except the super cap. It'll run on a AA battery too, no problem. There's the um, trigger coil. There's the drive coil. And then today is the um, 2nd of March, 2018. Let's see if I can get this to go again here. Here it goes. It runs for a few minutes on that uh, super cap. Uh, it's nothing to write home about. It's about a 30 uh, milliamp hour draw. But uh, like I say, it was fun to have Maggie in another video here, so I thought I'd show that right there. Anyway, thanks for watching.